Shalom, Yasharala. Before we go into this lesson, we give all honor, all glory, and all praises to Yahweh. So, Kal, Halal, Yam, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakodash. We give double honor to the apostles and prophets and elders of St. Mescam, but not as great millstone for the bring forth the hundred century that make friend daily bread under. Um, this lesson we do today is dealing with your lymphatic system because we want to go off on the video we did yesterday concerning the breast disease and one of the ways of breast disease or malignant lumps are from the lymph nodes which we read already but let's go a little bit into it right so bear with me right so let's go into the lymphatic system to get some understanding before you go into it remember what scripture say and Jehovah created medicines out of the earth, and he that is wise will not abhor them. Right? So this, in order for you to administer some remedies, it's okay. It's all for us to administer remedies for your lymphatic system. We first must learn or understand how the lymphatic system works or what's in the lymphatic system so you can get a proper cleaning a proper, a proper justification right so let's go back into it so in, like i said we must understand the lymphatic system and i'm going to give a little breakdown of the top of my head for those uh <laughs> lymphatic system is much easier to break down than the rest however um i want to try to remember the names um well, anyways, dealing with the lymphatic system, there are many parts of your of your lymphatic system which are the I'll give you, um I'll give the names which are the cervical lymph nodes, the mammary gland, the toric, the to, the toric duct if that is how it's pronounced, the cisterna, um so let's um chili, the lumbar lymph nodes, the pelvic lymph nodes, yeah pelvic lymph nodes, the lymphatics of the lower limb. Um, which deal with your leg or your knee the inguinal lymph nodes then you have the groin area you have the upper limb um, the elbow and then we um the elbow which is the elbow on the inside we have the spleen which is the largest organ in your lymphatic system not in your entire body in your lymphatic system it's called a system for a reason and then you have the uh, the um the axillary node which is on the arm right then you have the thymus right and these are very important to know because then when you go into it to, to give it, it the functions itself could tell you exactly what you would need to clean it and and to bring it back into fruition right so the lymphatic system as you know is a part of the immune system a major part of the immune system it and it keeps bodily fluid levels in, in balance and defends the body against infections and as we see it's plenty many times when you have infections what's happen? your lymph does begin to move your lymph does begin to move it begins to to, 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 to um grab hold of these toxins and expel it in certain areas starting with what your gut or now you got your, your intestines and which you can we will get, get an understanding um as you go into it so it works together to drain water fluid which is called a uh, uh, which is called lymph from the body right that's as easy um the lymph fluid which is usually a colorless fluid usually now people who don't move not naturally who don't naturally move or exercise would have a compromised lymphatic system because one of the things people don't understand is the lymphatic system in order for it to be working functional you need to be exercising 30 minutes a day the sweating sweat the sweating gland all will help to um the, the sweating gland will have to bring about bring about um the lymphatic system as well for those who don't know right so you need to be moving you need to be exercising jumping you understand know, running these things help Actually, this thing's really, really and truly helps the lymphatic system. 
You know when you have a um a PVC pipe and it's somewhat clogged up and you're adding water to it and it's not it's not moving and you begin to flex it that kind of way and the debris begins to move out until it come out. Think I think I was like that. Remember it's a drainage system. Remember that it's a drainage system. Right? And it works to get the drain of water fluid. Which I call as we as we just as we just read lymph. That lymph fluid at times could be get backed up. Let's give you an example. So what will you need to do? Move. So I exercise a day, half an hour, an hour even so much. Walking for an hour works well. Running for uh, five minutes works good. You understand? So on and so forth. This is the process in which we do things. It's how it's supposed to be done. You know, to see a good results in our overall uh, lymphatic system. But let's continue. And we know this colorless old, um, fluid that is made in the body, it surrounds all your, blood, your body tissues. And the extra fluid from the tissues in the body drains into the flow and drains into the flow through a small lymph vessel. And... Um, let me see if I had a, I think I had a, uh, um, let me see, I have a book here, the name of it is Natural Healing Library, but it doesn't have much to do with lymphatic system, but looking for a particular herb, I think it's, I'm not sure if it's licorice that is helped to move the lymphatic system as well, for those who can't, um, anyways, whatever, um, let's do that there already, alright. So, as you continue, the, the fluid is filtered through all the lymph nodes and sent into your bloodstream. Because what it does when it filters the lymph nodes, what the lymph node do, does, it, it actually captures toxins, for those who don't know. So, when that fluid filters through the lymph node and sent to your bloodstream, it's now bringing that toxins from your lymph vessels into your bloodstream. In the summer coming from and the fluid becomes toxic because it removes it so it becoming toxic and the left the liver filters that and send um and send that to your gallbladder and then into your intestines to be removed from by as as poop or as feces right from the body this is how your body works and i have a uh, how a direct um, remedy for the lymph nodes itself. And I have a separate one for your lymphatic system in completion. I have one for your spleen. I have one for your thymus. So you go into the separation first and then we go into the completion one after. So the spleen now controls the level of white blood cells and red blood cells in um and platelets which show her is a major fun a major part of your, what, your immune system but when you're spleening working properly at times your body will begin to do what target the wrong cells you begin to target healthy blood cells and your spleen is used to screen blood cells and remove all and damaged blood cells red blood cells so like it. So when the spleen are working, what do you think happen? You begin to target the good, the good cells. Which at times may cause autoimmune diseases. So. Let me, I think I could go into um, two remedies. No, after. Let the time us first. And then I'll go into two remedies each for your lymph nodes itself. Your spleen separate, and your thymus third, and then we'll go into our, our overall completion cle a cleanse, right? That will, will also that includes exercising. Must. That's a must. Let's continue. Uh, I believe the thymus. Um, the thymus, I believe, is responsible for. Uh, I'm trying to remember. 
right i believe the thymus is not uh, not i believe i know for a fact it is responsible for the production of the maturity of the maturation or maturing of the immune cells right which includes the small lymph lymphocytes that protects the body against foreign antigens the thymus as we know um is uh, sources cells that is in the lympho the lymphoids tissues and supports um their maturity and proper functions it makes sure it's, it stays in line and carries it to its destination when you really think about it it directs it to its destination if i say the right, the right thing this thymus as as you know also strengthens the cells from the marrow and it changes them into t cells which is very crucial for fighting off major infections and bodily control so let me go into it a little bit one of the things the uh, i would list the four things that that would build your, your t cells or help help it thymus is um selenium vitamin a zinc and vitamin c which is why people before used to be recommending zinc and selenium is a very good thing because it actually helps with the thymus gland so like uh, this will also help with building up your arm this would also help with building the immune system as you know because the more the more your thymus gland could create the better that's reality for those who don't know and why not is that has created the spleen controls so guess what everything works in a unified unified in the way that your has created it and this is why when he tell you that your has created medicines uh, most have created medicines out of the earth and he that is wise will not abhor them it is best not to abhor them it's best to listen it's best to learn it's best to write it down because it can help you in the future roughly paraphrasing i will understand exactly so let us now go into the range of lymphatic system detox but first we'll be dealing with the we'll go with the spleen and the, the lymph nodes the spleen and the thymus so so first let's deal with the lymph nodes right the lymph nodes in itself and when you see that in mark what bleeding heart calendula wise ro uh, wild rose philakia these are the three which is you would normally use for your lymph nodes you can also add nettle leaf to that um, red clover and red root those five will do the trick there's also another remedy which i can give to you all second remedy is the first remedy second remedy is burdock root red clover cleavers violet leaves and polka root very good for your lymph your lymph nodes separation lymph nodes right now let go and get the understanding as to uh well i get some um yeah, also more that you could use for a lymph node because the common one of the common um diseases of the lymph nodes is inflamed so which we have up here inflamed lymph nodes when they go lower down it shows you that what um a dentist is a disease of the glands and the lymph nodes the inflammation of the glands and the lymph nodes is a dentist i don't know why i just do that but anyways the glands and the lymph nodes are distributed in the whole body which we know the glands produces a number of hormones that plays a vital role in the body which we just read the lymph nodes um, swell when the body gets infected the immune system fights the pathogens and tries to protect the important organs of the body by localizing the infection in the lymph nodes see the like exactly what i said so the lymph nodes gets inflamed and try to tell the the patient tell to tell the patient 
that his body has been attacked by a foreign body of a, a, a bacteria or a virus. The inflammation of the lymph nodes of the neck is known as cervical adentis. The inflammation of the lymph nodes in the abdomen, ab uh, abdomen is known as the as um, mesenteric adentis. The cervicus adentis is the is when the cervicus sebaceous like yeah, glands are inflamed. So you see in how the lymph nodes are compromised when you get attacked. Immune system is um, your body is attacked by a foreign pathogen. There's other means via your pet, your arm, yeah, your eating, like your, your, your lifestyle also uh, mess, messes up your lymphatic system. It says um, germs, pathogens, bacterials, and virals and viral, viral infections, if not treated properly, a dentist may cause abscess, inflammation, which are inflammation of the skin. Um, it's like infections of the skin and infections of the bloodstream. Infection spread to other important parts of the body. So, we see in here how important the lymphatic system really is. You want it to work the correct way? Allow your body to work at times. It's not, sometimes it's not good to take suppressing drugs. Because these things would prevent your lymphatic system from working itself. Then you will have a weak immune system. And you will think taking supplements will make it stronger. All it did was mask... All you're doing is masking your weakness. So when they do get a, 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 a virus that seems to be deadly to the world, you may perish from it. It is wise sometimes to allow your body to work. Good example. You get a fever. You get a fever. Listen to what I'm saying. You get a fever. You get an attack. You get any virus. You get a fever. What do you feel a fever it does? That fever is, is used. To get rid of the, the same um, pathogens. So when you now take a suppressant drug to cut the fever. Do you realize that the fever does go but you just get worse in your sickness? You're supposed to allow your fever to run out. You, when, you, when you reach home, if you're home, you sit, you lay in your bed. Don't, don't put on any fans. At times it's, it's best to sweat it out. Get your body accustomed to working correctly. Sweat out the arm, the arm, the allow the fever to run its course. Allow the fever to run its course. What you could do is take things that would help your body remove the excess amount of pathogens, like a purge, a simple cleanse. A purge removes a, a, a three quarter of your the bacteria that is that is that is in your body. For those who to those who don't know, purges targets your blood and your body. So if majority of the fever of the um the pathogens is removed and cannot multiply as it normally would because majority is gone, and your body is still creating cells to fight because it knows it's alerted that a hey, we have a foreign enemy. Who you feel going to win? The body will win. But people who don't know that will go into the pharmacies and get things to suppress the immune system. Thinking that they're doing a good. But later on in life, when it hit them, it'll hit them hard. Not, not allowing your body to detox is the worst thing you can possibly do to your body. That's what I'm trying to say. So let me go into it. It says um, bittersweet. Um, then it says, let, let me go into the main part. Come on. As you see, burdock root, cleavers, jackfruit, blueberry, um, um, blood rock, the main gold, um, marigold, mimosa, podica, podicea, salakia, turmeric, winter green. This is a lovely list. A lovely, lovely list. I know at times they just give you um, the remedies right here, but I ain't seen it right here today. They normally give you remedies, but I see it. So like, yeah. like I said, and like I said, you don't even know how well your body is fighting off when you begin to clean your body out. When you begin to clean your body out, you start to take your herbs, you eat proper, you understand? Veggies and clean meats, you eat proper, you understand? You, you, you drink proper. 
you you then you will realize how well your body working because even up to today my body would get rid of these pathogens and foreign um this foreign bacteria and all the cases at times without me even knowing the most i get not even a snuffle the most i get was a you know the kind of the signal in your nose and your body is saying hey i'm beginning um, to your to your tonsil there's a you know just a signal yeah you just feel it and then you just disappear this is how it is work when you really clean your body at this point in time. I uh, know I have more cleaning to do. I had to go back into my proper pain, like I said. So I was working too much on my the muscular structure and not focusing on my body at the point in time. So, anyways, I know what this is. Let me just make sure and do this. So, anyways. So as we continue, um like one spleen. We want spleen here. And then we could do spleen. This spleen, this ease, I don't know. I guess I'll put it like that. If you put it like that. Red root. See what you see in here? Red root, which I called before. So, but another remedy for the spleen would be nettle leaf, red root. Red clover and cleavers. Four simple remedies you could use. You can also use poa de aku or pau de aku, which is a very popular poop now. Could, you could also go onto that. That would help in many ways to help to fix your spleen. Right? Now remember, in every process which I give, we all start off with what? Parasite cleanse. Via the exact way that we constantly say in the videos before, which is to ensure three days before. And three days after the full moon, you're taking a parasite cleanse. Or if you can't do it three days, do it two days. And the day of the full moon, you must fast completely. No foods. And the only water you should be drinking is the parasite cleanse. Let's continue. From that, you could go into... Well, I think that, that also adds with your gut and cell cleanse. And then, uh, and then from that, from that one, then you could go about with the proper means of um taking the lymphatic system lymphatic system doesn't take much i would say it gives it takes three weeks to really clean completely i would say two weeks to clean completely but i just also say try for a month do it a month right and that's all lymphatic system is very easy one month and you're good to go nothing to worry about again one month is all you need not like the rest three months and this no simply one month and that's all you're going to need to and to, and they're good to go game over. All right, so um, as you see in here, which I gave the full remedy. Let me let me get the next one. Your lymphatic system. Let me see if I can get if I get your spleen. I think I could probably get your spleen. Can I get your spleen? Glands. Enlarged spleen right here. Where is this? What title that brings? Female, okay. Uh, no, no, glands. So like a glands. All right. For so for enlarged spleen is seen. Um rhodiola, rosia, then they have stinging nettle. See that? Right, two right there. So that is the second remedy you could use. It's very easy to, 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 to fix your spleen. Like I say, spleen takes two weeks. But spleen takes one week. Lymph nodes takes two weeks. And your thymus takes two weeks as well. Now, like you do with the thymus gland now. The thymus gland is very important. Very, very important. If they have it here. I realize they like to, they like to wildly see all right. Okay, this way it is. Um, let it come out of that. And I go into the. See if you get a little something from the twin timers gland. Oh, look 
כן. They are adding too much nonsense now, come on. Let's see. Alright, well, so like here, yeah, if you do have it, I'll just give you a video I have here for time was. But let like, you go into the herpetocyte still to get more information about it, right? Because herpetocyte, the herpetocyte do help. It at times gives um, remedies for certain things. So time us. Okay, let's see. That causes what thymosis, which is a is a disease of the thymus gland. Let's go into it. Let's go into it. Thymosis description. I don't think so. Okay, thymus gland is a little tricky, but like I said before, the remedy I was given for thymus gland would have been selenium, vitamin A. Right, zinc and vitamin C. So, this is what the, your body would use, the minerals that your body would use to fix your thymus gland. So, let's go into the nutrients. Since they want to play hard, hardball and look up zinc and or zinc. So, first, separate. Now, the herb that is highly nutritious in zinc. Black carrots. Lego food. I want to get some simple food that we could we could get. Um egg yolks you could use that if you want to, but I want to get the um quail eggs as well. I'm gonna go, I want to get it. Watermelons, that is one. Watermelons is one. Ginger is supposed to be two. Boiled root is three. Um everything that's on the list here you could probably use for blessed right here. Um blood rock. Very high in um in, in in zinc. Then we have the the we call this thing the Brazilian nuts. Very high in zinc and selenium. Echinacea, drumstick, drumstick is uh, moringa. Very good in very good in uh, very high in, in in zinc and selenium. So we have a lot of things that you can use for to receive zinc and selenium. One of the things that I like is guava in itself. Guava is very good for you uh, for um. For zinc and selenium and other minerals like vitamin C, vitamin A, which we know vitamin A and vitamin C is the other two. So let me touch guava a little bit to see how well this will work. Hemp seed as well, which you see next to it, is very good. Now guava, the minerals, they go to the mineral base, um, nutrient base, so like here. So vitamin A and vitamin C, which is required, right, at the point in time. Then when you go into it, selenium, right there. Lower last part zinc zinc and all the other um all the other nutrients here would help with other parts of the body as well as the iron but the main point is zinc and the selenium so it this is this would be an easy task to get rid of your thymus gland I, I had a remedy right down somewhere but I can't remember where I put it um but that would be an easy task to get to fix your your, your, your thymus gland for those who don't know but in order to fix your thymus gland you must detox your lymphatic system. To get them, um, to get them nutrients going into the area, you must clean the lymphatic system. So, without further ado, let us go into the full cleanse of the lymphatic system. So, firstly, parasite and parasite detox and gut and cell cleanse is the key number one, which we give all the time. After that, you could go into um lymphatic system detox and a mineral base um to, to 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 use i would always recommend fruits and vegetables um the clean way but before you got like go into the the lymphatic system detox and there you go in the the treatment or the build up for the lymphatic system as well so let like go into it. It says, well, I'm giving you two remedies for the lymphatic system detox or the tre treatment of the lymphatic system, right? One is burdock root. Now write this down. Burdock root, red root, red clover, cleavers, violet leaves, poker root, figwort, pori aku, ginkgo, golan seed, and organ grape. 
That's one remedy you could use. You could consume this twice a day, morning, bef uh, be morning and night. And your consumption would be vegetables and fruits, a salad, a fruit and veggie salad, I guess. Um, you could also consume um, CMOS um, with brew banana, which I, I always recommend. CMOS and brew banana goes, goes hand in hand. CMOS, brew banana, and some agave nectar to make it taste good. Or CMOS, brew banana, hemp seed, milk, and agave nectar to make it taste good. Either or. That would be a drink. And then daily, you're supposed to drink at least, I believe you're supposed to drink at least 1.2 liters of water. And with that 2 liters of water, you're supposed to be taking a half an hour exercise. A half an hour, hour exercise. Now, I know you're working and so on and so forth. So at least a 20 minutes walk will still help. 20 minutes walking would still help. Push-ups will help for those who don't know. Push-ups will help. Right now, I'm I, I doing 100 push-ups a day because that also helps to move blood in other areas. You just literally feel a force where the blood begins to move. You, feel, you, you realize your capillaries begin to open in certain areas. It spreads throughout your body. This is what helps your lymphatic system. Push-ups, run, um, running, walking. You understand? Right now, I, I do a little weight lifting. So, the, the running, I don't do that as much these days. But the walking is it could be in excess, and this is how we this is this is how you begin to bring back the lymphatic system by the herbs and by means of exercise, and and of course the the intake like I tell you, you could literally have a cup of sea moss at ten o'clock. The same mixture ten o'clock, you have your salad at twelve o'clock, and you have a cup of sea moss again at three o'clock. That will fool you. And the rest is liquids. You get your, your, your drink, your, your waters during the day. Stop drinking your water at 4 o'clock. Your wa water itself at 4 o'clock. The oldest liquid you should be drinking, at least at, at night time or 6 or 7 around day, would be the same remedy which I give you the, as, a, as a herb tea. No sugar. And in the morning, as a herb tea. As well. <coughs> so like yeah. So, this is how it's supposed to be done. With this, it will work out very good. Then there's um, a second remedy, which um, it was a combination of a few. Now, this remedy also helps to fix your lymphatic system and boost it at the same time. So, it's a, it's a, this one is a, is a, a two-in-one. It, it boosts and it cleanses, which is burdock root, red clover. We have the thyme. We have the hyssop, right? We have the thyme and the hyssop. We have the elderberries. We have the organ, um, oregano. We have the St. John wort. We have the chaga mushroom with the um, chaga turkey tail mushroom. Some people may add colloidal, colloidal silver to this. Uh, it's up to you, honestly speaking. It's also part of the remedy. Colloidal silver is optional, but that's a bit that that can't be used. What you could what you could exclude from use, I mean, you could use the elderberries for tea, the hyssop, the thyme, the black, the amber, the and the red clover as tea, right? And the organ grape as tea, the Saint John wood as tea. But the mushrooms, you um, how I prep it to consume it, you can do that. Or I would say when I prep it to consume it, if you have to fry it. Make sure that you're using um, grapeseed oil. Don't use any other oil. And as for as for the colloidal silver, try and I guess you can work at um, a shot a day or something like that, something along, along those lines. But the remedy is here. Like I said, the key part for this remedy as well. Parasite cleanse and gut and cell cleanse to remove and exercise as well. And the, this will be a, cle a cleanse and a builder. So if you could take these things and you, you eat your consuming mushrooms with some sea and you make a sea moss mix drink, I'm telling you all, um, you will see a major difference in your overall up movement. Your overall, overall movement. This fixes your lymphatic system at a major, major scale.
right so i think there's one more in which we could get a sunny it just will allow me to get it let's see lymphatic system compromise right so let me get some remedies for that we have wild indigo and then we have comifora um moloch which is um, i think we did this already which is um, a moloch mirror right so let me go back into it and we read it again, lymphatic system disorder is a disorder of lymphatic system, which you know, lymphatic system is a network of thin walled vessels, lymph nodes and hollow tubes. It is important, it is an important part of the immune system and the circulatory system. It carries protein, um, rich colorless fluids, which is known as lymph, which we gave the information for. It says this fluid carries white blood cells, which fights against infections. The major functions of the lymphatic system is to remove toxins and, and filter the lymph by spleen and lymph nodes and transports it back to the bloodstream, which we give the information for. So the organs of the lymph nodes, everything is right here. So the spleen, the thymus gland, the lymphatic vessels, the few lymph nodes, um, the few lymph nodes, right? So... And as we know, the thymus is located in, in the chest inside your rib cage, also contains white blood cells and filters the lymph, lymph and blood. So I want to show you one way to activate this how we to activate your, your thymus gland if it's if it's been um if it's not um functioning properly. It's called a drum drum beat up, I believe is where it's called it. Where you put your hand on the upper, like under your neck. And you begin to pump. So I'm going to show you a motion in which you could do it. I used to do it before. Now when I do it, if I do it right now, it will activate immediately. Let's feel it in the chest. So, yeah. I believe you hit it. Yeah, I feel it already. So that is about 10 seconds of any kind of beat. And you're good to <laughs> It usually begins to activate your, your, your thymus gland, for those who don't know. And you will, you will realize that mucus begins to come up because your body is, if, if you have any um any foreign bacteria that is dormant, it will begin to fight it, basically. And um, it does not have much failure for the system here, showing here, but there's a reason why I give um, the others to you all because when you go into it, let me grab it one time, I'm going to show you why i um created my own remedy and why that remedy works because of simple looking up herbs now when you go into your so like when you go into your herbs right this gives uh so a resounding amount of information on, on each herb which was used here and when you go down into the right here into the blessed tissue it's on my chest not blessed tissue still like um burdock root i believe is it burdock root yes burdock root also is good for your lymphatic the system i did a research on this already it's also good for your lymphatic the system even though not probably not showing it here but it's one of the best for lymphatic the system so I just painted all the fear. Burdock root is one. And we see it was shown also as well. Burdock root is one. Cascasa grata is also very a good one to remove um, toxins. So anything that removes toxins and cleaning blood will immediately be part of it, which also includes the blessed tissue. Right? Remove toxins, you see that? Right. Burdock root is one. Ch chap um cascasa grata is cascarasa grata is one. Chaparral is one. A chaparral, it always called it. Um, as we go further, contribu by itself it cleans everything. So contribu by itself is one. Contribu, if I don't know, is very good for your thymus gland. So, 
as we go in further i want to get the ones that is known for specific tasks if it will permit me the guacu upper respiratory um Ombre Grande is also one you could use. Another this one. Um, Hydrangea Root is also another one you could use for those who don't know. It, and it says right here. It says um, Hydrangea is used for the hydrangean compound which dissolves calcium deposits in soft tissues. It has been used in traditional traditionally to treat bladder and kidney diseases, um, to dissolve kidney stones, and to clean the lymphatic system. Right here and right here. To clean the lymphatic system. Can't get around it. As you go further, I believe Lillardy Valley also supposed to be one. Oh, no, not Lillardy Valley. It's like Wrong one. No, Lillardy Valley is supposed to be one as well, which I look into, but we're not using them because that's more directed for your heart. Then you have the nettle, which we which was shown. And when you go into it, nettle leaf is very, very, very good for the lymphatic system. Very good for your spleen. So, I read it here. Nettle leaves is used for arthritis, as for sores, for hair loss, for um, anemia, poor circulation, that sugar, so like I almost said, enlarged spleen, right here. Allergies, eczema, rashes, and asthma. Nettle, nettle is a is um is used as a general health tonic and blood purifier. So, as you go further, there is more. I believe is this one. No, it's not this one. Is it? Red clover. Red clover right here. Red clover is used for its estrogen properties. To relieve menstrual sy symptoms, red clover is a blood purifier and is used to break up calcification in soft tissues and to clean the lymphatic system of lymph fluid waste. See that? Very important. Rhubarb root is also another one that is very good for your lymphatic system because it removes acids, mucus, it removes toxins. If I've been on such a, it's a very good help. And helps to move this this the um the wastes as well. So there you keep going. Um I'm looking for so, so, so is very good for that as well, because it guess what? It binds with toxins for their removal from the blood and the body. Not only that, it's very high in vi in, in, in zinc. Not zinc, in iron, tilakia, which is one of the healing factors of the body for those healing um, compounds for your body, for those who don't know. CMOS, as you go into it, reason why I said for CMOS is dream because CMOS soothes the mucous membranes and also removes toxins, for those who not, don't know. Um, I'm going to get to the point. Yellow duck, I believe. Is the last one. I'll tell you all. I think it's yellow duck is the last one. I'll pass it. So like a yellow duck right here. Let me read it. It says yellow duck um, stimulates the bile production, aiding in digestion of fats, and stimulates bowel movements to clear the um, digestive tracts. Yellow duck it has been used in traditional medicines as a blood purifier and a liver and gallbladder cleanse and to clean the lymphatic system right then right then and there simple as it is so i think there's others that you can use probably guinea hen weed also very good for removing toxins getting rid of viral infections fungus bacteria will treat bacteria fungal infections virus, virus infections um help with the sugar so these are major keys that you could use for 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 um liver system as well. These are these are what what would more be known as fighters. So you add the cleansers to the fighters, and you will see a major difference. I also I believe black seed is another one, but black seed may be somewhat acidic. You just have to be careful with it. But going back into the remedies which was given, right? Don't forget lymphatic system, detox, burdock root, red clover, red root, 
cleavers, violet leaves, poker root, fig wort, pordy aco, gink go, golden seed, and organ grape. And for the cleanse and builders is burdock root, red clover, thyme, hyssop, elder flowers and elder berries, organo, colloidal silver, saint John wort, mushrooms which are um, turkey tail and chaga, and you can also get B complex and vitamin C's, which are which usually come from the elderberries, regardless. So there you have it. And we also show more that you can use for your yes the um the thymus glands. There are things that you can literally use for your thymus glands, no problems, as well as for your spleen. And that's about it. But the overall lymphatic system cleanse carries fix everything because remember your, your lymphatic system is like a drainage system so if you are consumed the lymphatic system cleanse it goes throughout all your or all the organs in the lymphatic system give it a thorough clean out and builds it up because the nutrient base that your liver will begin to intake so i hope this lesson was already fine and as the scriptures made it clear yeah how i created messes out of the earth and he that is wise will not abhor them. So what rem the remedies I, that I give to you, it is best that you not abhor them, but you accept it. Because this is what you're going to be using at the point in time. This is what you, you could use. This takes a month of cleanse. And you have nothing to worry about for a very good while. I'm talking about a very good while. A space of four to five years. Probably even more. Just don't. Just make sure and keep yourself in order. You understand where I'm coming from? So, Chalawam. Yeshurala, Kal, Halalyam, Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahawashai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. We give double honors to the apostles and prophets and elders of JMS Camp, with North Great Millstone for the big 40 hundred century that we could lay the fed under. And I hope this lesson was edifying. Make sure and take down the recipes, because the, these remedies will help. As scriptures say, um, Then give the, they then give place to the physician, for Yahweh had created him. Let him not go from thee. Let him not go from um from thee, for thou hast need of him. There's a time when in their hands there's good success. It says, For they shall also pray unto Yahweh that he would prosper that which they give for ease and for remedy to prolong life. That is the purpose of these remedies to prolong your life, as scriptures say. So I hope this lesson again was edifying. Shalom to the elect, Tabnakal of David. I'm your boy Kazakh Yasharala saying to you again. Shalom. Barak Shabbat.